Executive Director of Global Ties Arizona. Global Ties Arizona is the implementing organization of the U.S. Department of State's International Visitor Leadership Program, bringing in hundreds of international leaders across subject matter areas here to Arizona every single year. We are proud to implement this program on behalf of the U.S. Department of State, and we are also thrilled to partner with organizations such as the Diplomatic Corps of Arizona in order to continue to make sure that this program thrives. So far this year, we have brought 30 delegations with nearly 300 visitors from across 90, more than 90 countries across the globe to Arizona. They're coming to visit us in subject matter areas such as women and entrepreneurship, economic development, democratic processes, freedom of press, and also looking at uh, very industry-focused areas such as water security and management. The individuals that participate in delegations of the International Visitor Leadership Program are hand-selected by U.S. embassies abroad in any given country. They are, they are identified because they are transforming their communities, they're transforming their industries, they're seen as influential up-and-coming leaders, really the next leaders in their subject matter areas. So we um, arrived uh, on Saturday last week, on the 29th of October, and uh, we're leaving uh, this Saturday, so two weeks all together. But you visited which states have you gone into? We first visited Washington, D.C. Uh, we flew to Arizona, and we're going to Philadelphia tomorrow. Oh, you're going to the hot spot to the lunch? Yes, yes. All right. we're following all the events. I'm sure you'll find a lot of interesting stuff here. We have already. You have already. Indeed. Yes. That's my next question. For today, it's a special day. It's the election day in the United States, right? Midterm elections. I'd like to get your perspective. Are more thoughts? What do you think? How did it go for today? I know we don't have the results yet, but with your, with your experience, with what you've seen, how do you think it went today so far? Um, my sense is from what I have heard so far is that uh, Arizona together with uh, other states, for instance Pennsylvania, where we are also going uh, tomorrow, uh, the, is, are particularly important because the race uh, is likely to be especially tight. Yes, it's, uh, it's neck to neck and it's really close. Between the two sides, right. so that's why it is very interesting to hear both uh, perspectives. Okay. If I may ask you. Do you think there's anything that we can improve on? Are there any opportunities that you've seen so far that we could have done much better? No, actually, uh, it has been a very educating experience uh, for me and uh, in terms of learning uh, best practices that uh, I can apply to the Bulgarian context. Uh, yeah. Indeed, because Bulgaria, of course, is still a democratizing country since 1989 and the collapse of communism. We have been undergoing a process of democratization, which is still ongoing, and there is a lot that we can still uh, learn from the uh, U.S. and in particular from our discussion so far, I was especially impressed by the degree of uh, community engagement that politicians do uh, here. Um, so I'm comparing it to the yes. Bulgarian context mm -hmm. and I think that here what I learned is that uh, political candidates during the election campaign do a lot of outreach to uh, the different communities, for instance through door-to-door uh, -door meetings or uh, phone calls, so on a very micro level. And to me that's impressive. I, I think for uh, you this uh, may already be a very established practice, mm -hmm. but um, and seeing it from the perspective of my country, I think that we have a long way to go uh, in terms of um, community outreach and engagement during the election campaign. That's great. You can use what you've learned here, bring it back to Bulgaria and for the next election. Maybe you can probably do the strategies that you've seen here so far. Yes. Do you have a two-party system like us? Uh, no, actually, it's a proportional representation system, so we have a lot of parties and in general we need to have a coalition of different parties in order to form a uh, government. Is there anything that you feel like uh, really stood out from your experience here with other ambassadors from different European nations, like 20, right? Yes. Is there anything that stood out from what you've, from what you've connected with them? Is there anything that you've learned from the 
other European ambassadors so far at the same time? Oh yes, for sure. I think that overall, on the one hand, there are a lot of similarities in the challenges that we are encountering regarding um, various political issues, but also media and disinformation throughout Europe. Uh, and of course, on the other hand, there are distinctions in national uh, specificities for each country, but I think one of the major ideas that has uh, come out is that it is very important for us to form mm -hmm. uh, a collaboration collaborative platform so that we all help each other and that there is a high degree of cross-border and cross-country cooperation because this is the best way to tackle uh, the challenges that we encounter in the sphere of media and disinformation. Great. The connection itself is priceless, right? Yes. If there was one thing here in the States that we did with our election, what would that be that you think would be very beneficial if they used that in your country? Just one thing. So to apply from the American context, yes. uh, I would uh, single out uh, the importance of engaging people yeah. or communities who don't tend to vote. Because in uh, yeah. Bulgaria, we have a very big problem with a very low turnout. That is a consistent uh, phenomenon uh, at various elections. Because we've had a number of elections for since uh, the beginning of 2021 and up to now. But the problem is that even though we have uh, many elections, at which people can actually uh, have a say and uh, change the system. Uh, in reality, uh, the uh, turnout stays at about 40%, which is very low. And from our discussions here, I have learned that uh, politicians, when they campaign, they do try to raise uh, the um, interest in uh, elections by motivating people and uh, energizing the electorate through uh, very specific discussions um, in uh, clarifying how a, pe a person's vote can uh, impact the, the system and what comes next. I think the key there is really to connect to the people and really answer the issues they're encountering during that time. Now, I have heard this, I'm sure you've heard this before, let me just confirm. Have you um, seen that so far in this election is all about what's happening with inflation, with immigration, has that resonated between you and your group? Have you seen that so far as an issue which a lot of uh, uh, Americans have been really uh, impacted about? Yes, uh, and in a way I have to say that the issue of rising prices and inflation and energy prices in particular uh, has affected also um, the whole of Europe uh, Europe it, it, itself. Europe are also experiencing it. Yes, uh, for sure. So that is a problem that we uh, all share. It's a global problem and we have to find uh, uh, reasonable solutions. Uh, nevertheless, you're more than welcome and uh, I would be very happy to host you. Give me uh, a good spot that I can go, uh, two spots that you recommend if I go to Bulgaria, I'd go to visit these two spots, just two the most top spots that you think. Now, uh, collectively, I would recommend the monasteries that we have um, that date back uh, centuries uh, ago, monastery. a lot of uh, historical sites, um, and of course, I would recommend uh, uh, the seaside. Awesome. Two. I'll take note of that. Again, thank you so much for your time. On behalf of AZ Media, Romania. Is that right? Yes, okay. absolutely. Thank you for your time. For thank you today. so much. So, my name is Lance Ivanovic and I come from Montenegro. Montenegro. Uh, where, for everyone who doesn't know uh, where is Montenegro, uh, it is the uh, Excellence of Republic. Uh, near, near Croatia, Serbia, Bosnia. Uh, and uh, I'm a co owner uh, company which is establisher. Uh, establisher, one of the most important and the most influenced uh, newspaper in my country, uh, daily newspaper, daily, daily done. Uh, we have uh, two radio stations, uh, newspaper and uh, news program. Our radio stations are uh, only music, uh, only radio music, uh, music yes, yes, music station. Uh, but of course, the newspaper is uh, uh, deal with uh, politics and uh, very important questions from our life. Uh, I must tell you that uh, I am not a journalist, 
I'm uh, I'm um, a lawyer by uh, education, but uh, 18 years ago, uh, my husband was uh, killed in front of his office. Uh, and he was editor in Chief Daily Dan. Uh, after that, I had to take care about uh, newspaper. Uh, and I must, I have to admit that it was a very, very hard time for me and my family. Sorry to hear that, especially in the media. Mm -hmm. We saw some amazing, the work, the work. amazing yeah. but it, I guess it comes yeah. with yeah. the profession, it comes with the calling that we do mm -hmm. on the field of, say, journalism or in any way, newspaper, yes. print, yes. radio. It's everything is the same because uh, if you are good in uh, your job, mm -hmm. <sighs> you would always bump into something or somebody yes. along the way. How was your visit here in the States? Great experience. Okay. Uh, because our project is uh, very, very uh, interesting. Yes. And I think that uh, the most important thing uh, in this project is connection between people. Perfect. Because uh, there are uh, 20 people from 20 countries in Europe. And it is a very powerful Thing, very powerful because uh, you know you have uh, you met a lot of people tomorrow we can exchange information and it is uh, really the most important thing for me in this travel I think what I like is I get to learn from you yes from the other person and so forth with all those 20 European nations scattered here yes there's a lot of information and sharing to watch yes, what sharing. we know yes. from your visit today. Of course, you know it's election day today. Wow. Uh, I would like to ask you, from the insight of somebody from your country, okay. what do you think in general? How did your election go? Is there something that you think we could have done better? Is there something that we have opportunities to improve? What are your thoughts on that? From my country, are so divided. Just like here. Yeah. Uh, how people support Russia, how people support West countries. Of course, uh, there is a background, so half people are from Orthodox Serbian Church. The Serbian Church mm -hmm. is linked with Russia. Mm -hmm. Uh, and on the other side, uh, we have uh, people from, from Montenegro who, uh, who are for his own country and he support West countries. Do you think there's a similarity with your election, the mm -hmm. way you do it in your country and the election here that you just saw happen today? I think that, that everything is the same. Really? Yes, time. because uh, you have a lot of media now, yes. uh, and in my country, uh, which is very small country, you have a lot of media, and uh, behind all uh, political parties, behind all medias mm -hmm. or majority, uh, you have some. Uh, or political parties or some interest groups. What have you learned? The biggest thing you've learned so far from this visit? The most important thing is uh, connection between people. Uh, and all of us are thinking uh, on the same way. Really? Yes, because all of us wanted uh, that uh, our countries people from our countries are happy people, that they have good life, yes. uh, and uh, it is the most important thing, in my opinion, of course. But that's really interesting. Uh, from the same region, somehow you have that connection that you're not aware of at first, but realizing that when you see and finally meet them, 
There's a lot yes. of things in common between you. Yes, of course. Being from the same continent and same region. Yeah. India, You're welcome. Easy New Media, thank you for this interview. All the best and, uh, and you too. We'll see you around. Hopefully I can visit your country one of these days. Okay, it uh, would be very nice. So welcome to Arizona. How was your visit in the first place? Again? Yeah, man, very, very interesting visit, both on the on the content and of course the, the cultural part. We even had a chance to go to the Grand Canyon. Nice. That's what I was going to ask you. That's something you won't miss when you go in this state. We don't. We don't. Okay. But North most or of South Rim? Where do you go? We went to uh, uh, South South Park. We didn't have, unfortunately, more time for that one. Yeah. You have something like that in Finland, some sort of a canyon? Nothing similar. Sure. No, nothing that, that scale. We have a beautiful nature, but this was the Grand Canyon. So, um, again, from your perspective, today's election day, yep. just to get your thoughts, uh, coming from Finland, yep. what, what do you think? What, is there something you like about it? Is there something that we can improve on? What are your thoughts of the election day today? How did it turn out for you? Uh, I think everything has been like what we have observed, just like, like being actually much more calmer than you get the impression, so to say, on that one. But of course we have been observing very strong opinions and the polarization that we are of course so to yeah. say so worried about we have in my country avoided um, the polarization to that extent there are some structural things like a multi-party system that helps on us on that one so but um, but uh, what I've sensed pretty strange here the kind of certain a certain uh, atmosphere of fear and to be honest objectively I don't see the reasons for such a fear I mean I have many things actually very well as well and uh, and uh, and all that but of course it's the incertitudes that build on that one but I would encourage really to be very cautious with uh, with um, or evaluate the the impact of the social media and that type of things because that makes a whole difference in, in these times when COVID has put us in our boxes and all that. So a diet on that side, that's something what we try to also encourage in Finland. Okay. That's a good point. Yeah. Uh, and the next question, of course, is how do you control this information yeah. in your part of the world? How do you deal with it? How do you regulate things like this? We have a very comprehensive approach and, and um, we try to, it's, it's, there is no silver bullet really on that one. Uh, I think fundamentally it's all about education and education system, but of course that's a long term thing. And I mean, I understand you need quick fixes here as well. Um, I have actually had a chance to, to contribute to the EU level efforts as well. And we try to now, we have been trying to build a very comprehensive approach on that one. So everybody can do their bit. Because we know that actually it's really fundamentally the, the core of the democracy at stake. If we lose that type of uh, fact-based debate, mm -hmm. we are on a very, very shaky grounds for many of the things. And, and that's why everybody has to contribute. And uh, I think the novelty then lately, in that we also try to address them the immediately the, the polarizing functions of the, the information ecosystem that we are living in, meaning often the platforms, are we talking then on, on uh, I mean, I don't want to name necessarily the, yeah. the, the companies, US or Chinese or something like that, but we have to be aware of that. We have to understand where we are with the situation. Outside that, you cannot have a good policy approach to, towards the problems. And personally, I'm still a little bit lacking. I see good initiatives, I see brilliant people here, but I'm a little bit lacking the overall strategy and who's in charge, so to say. Is it the federal level, state level, and who in federal level, and who in, so in, in state level? Because somebody needs to kind of get the acts together. I understand it's a very, very difficult, difficult thing, but I believe, um, the, let's say, the, Everybody wants to have it just slow down a bit and, 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 and let's get hold of it. Don't, we don't want to get manipulated. I think that's, that's what we want to do. It's, it's just like uh, everything is out of control at one point and it's just yeah. no way of fact checking a lot of things on the media and the social media and all these different uh, modalities that we're using currently. And you need to really 
strengthen, I believe, or what we have tried to do. I, I cannot talk so US is to decide it for itself, but what we have actually tried to do is we have been trying to strengthen our institution. It, it creates a certain kind of stability, mm -hmm. be it school system, be it libraries, and this kind of functional things for the kind of the civics, and not to politicize that one. Mm -hmm. Drive for the curiosity, something positive on, on that. That's a good point. That's a good point. Now, with that being said, I'm going to ask you, with your visit here, what's your most favorite part so far? Wow, uh, there's been very many highlights mm -hmm. as such, but I think it's it's very much the encounters with the people in the end. It's, it's really rewarding yeah. trying to understand. I mean, we are still in li you, you living in a li or Europe living in with the kind of the the movies and, yes. and all that, and, and, and uh, we see that see the kind of. Um, like uh, US being worried, but at the same time, I want to believe that there is some sort of a positivity coming out of that one, and 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 we really need also to build the bridges on on, on EU. And, we need that connection. And, and, we need to reach yeah. out to other nations at the same yes. time, share and uh, learn from each other. At yeah, time. and I mean, I, I know that this sounds like now in this context because democracy has been taking as a let's say a political theme as well, but I truly believe that that's fundamentally about it. In many of the things and this is not a political stance I mean we see it in Europe mm -hmm. where there is a really a war going on and considering that I mean there's many things very well in the US and we need a state a stable US thank you so much for your time I appreciate it and all the best of luck for your travels I'm sure you'll visit Philadelphia tomorrow I'm we will that's another hot spot by the way so be warm just kidding no, no, uh, no, no. Have no, you no. been to Philadelphia before? No, not yet. No, I'm very curious. A lot of history, more greener than this. Okay. I'm sure you'll enjoy a lot of things in Philadelphia. Thank you for your hospitality. Well, thank you for your time. Appreciate your interview here.